Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here just checking in on um, what your person is currently feeling, what they may want to say to you, okay, possibly what their situation is, um, just to get a, a feel of your person's energy right now, right? This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, the love. Just thank you for the love, okay? Um, honestly, I, you guys are so supportive of me and this channel, and I've never had that kind of support before, you know? So thank you so much. I really, I, I, I can't describe the feeling and what it means to me. And I'm just so grateful for all of you. And hi to my all my new subscribers, all of my subscribers. Um, thank you so much for joining the family. I love you guys. All right, so Divine, what can you show us? How does this, how does the collective's person feeling today? How are they feeling today? How is their person feeling today? They kind of don't want to talk. I feel like they're upset, angry, exhausted, wanting to reach out to you, but just watching you and disgusted with themselves. Let's see what comes out, though. I feel like they're thinking about how they treated you, all right? Um, I really feel like what they did to you was almost like publicly humiliating just because... Um, there were so many people that knew about it. So much talk about you behind your back. Um, I mean, it was it was really bad. There was a time I remember in tarot, oh, a couple of years ago, where, you know what, it was just even uncomfortable for people, my collective here, to leave their house and and go grocery shopping or stop and get gas in their town because there was always somebody talking about you looking at you, you know, but not one of those people came to help you. N no one came to give you any clarity. I mean, you had your heart broken. And, and I mean, with whatever they said behind your back, they had you stripped down to nothing. But no one ever came to help you. And these were people that you knew. These were people that you loved. And that's why you've, I feel like you've turned your back on them now. Um, yeah, and now this masculine here, um, your person, I feel like they're thinking about this. Maybe they were hoping that they would hear from you, but why would you talk to them? You know, why would you go chasing after them in any way after how they treated you, right? And so they realize that it's, it's, making them sink into a depression because they can't figure out how to how to come towards you after what's been done. Um, having a hard time finding a creative way to express themselves, okay? And I feel like they, they may be doing a lot of crying, but here's the thing, though. You know, yeah, you broke me first. That's the song I just heard in my head. Sorry. You broke me first. Yeah, they broke you first. They should be making this right somehow. But instead, these masculines are crying now because you're not talking to them. Okay, praying for you here. I feel like they're praying for you, even if it's just platonic, just to get back into your inner circle again, you know. I feel like um, they're suffering a huge loss here. It just is, it's a, it's a death of a cycle, really, is what it is. And they, they're praying that they'll hear from you. They're praying that you'll let them back into their, to your circle, your, but, you know, I don't see you doing that after how they treated you here. You know, they know they're running out of time. They're frustrated. 
They they may even have to make a some kind of house move or travel to get to you, but there's there could be some kind of blockage um, with that. If this person lives a great distance from you, they're they're having a hard time with traveling. They feel very hindered and blocked. Okay, but yeah, um, they're running out of time. I feel I just feel like they intensely know that they're running out of time and they're they're feeling powerless here to help but I feel like um, they need some reassurance forward I don't feel any forward movement I feel a lot of stagnancy off of this off of this I feel like they, you know, with comforted, really what's popping out at me is reassured. I feel like this person needs some reassurance in order to make this move towards you because um, after what they did, they feel awkward. They feel exposed. You know, they're feeling the same kind of issues that, that they gave you, right? They, the same kind of pain. They're feeling it now. Yeah. Yeah. Curled up in a little ball. Heartbroken. Because there's just, look at what they did. Whatever this person did to you, it was really bad. Okay? And I feel like it wasn't just them. I feel like it was a group of people. Like I said, when this person broke your heart and put you in this position here, um... There were people in your community, there were people around you that were talking about this, talking about it behind your back. You know, some of them could have said, oh, we feel so bad. But you know what? No one came to help you. No one gave you clarity. No one talked to you about it. No one tried to clear anything up. And like I said, those are, could have been people that you knew. Yeah, this person broke their own heart when they broke yours, okay? When they broke your own heart, they broke yours, and they're, they're really upset with themselves over um, what they did to you here, which was really bad, I have to say. Yeah. I feel like this person has tried to, to like come towards you in a way. I don't know what way that is. Maybe they tried to send you a text message or tried to reach you through a mutual friend or they could even be like, I don't know, spreading some kind of, hey, when you when you see the collective, tell them so, you know, so and so said blah, 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 you know, any kind of clue, hint that they would want to get back together and, um, I don't think it's working though. I think they're going to have somebody's going to have to step up their game here and be a, a a decent person and try to make things right. Somebody in this crowd. And if they don't do that, I don't think you're going to give this anybody a chance here to get back in. They have to come at you right with the truth of what happened. You know, I don't think any of these people um, even so much as asked you if you were all right. And these were people I feel like that you nurtured and cared for. All right, so what's going on with this person behind the scenes? I just want to pull a few of the tarot and see what's going on here behind the scenes. I feel like it was multiple people, honestly, maybe up to five people that were included in this. Um, it could have been a group that did this to you. And they could have left you standing there like this just to try to control the outcome or maybe thinking they didn't have to, you know, they didn't have to come and make anything right. Like it wouldn't have some kind of consequence consequences for this what they did to you is greater than what they could have ever imagined you know they're feeling it now 
Yeah, I feel like this person couldn't control you. You're moving forward here. Um, and now they see you, they see this from a whole new perspective. This emperor, whoever did this, they did it in a way that they just didn't care. You know? They thought they were above all of the consequences. and But now, now they see things from a whole different light. Okay? Now they're feeling like a fool. And this person could have been warned here. Don't go hurting the collective like this. But they, you know, no, they did whatever they wanted to do, like the emperor usually does. And they really messed this up. You were nothing but loving to this person. Loving, very intuitive. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Cancer. Your person could be a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, or Aries. I feel like this is your energy moving forward, very heavy on Cancer. You know, emperor or not, if you're treated like this, you I feel like you just were like, all right, fine, whatever. This person didn't actually control you. No, they actually ruined a connection by how they treated you. Yeah, they sabotaged the connection by how they treated you. Can't make it up. Yeah, and you are nothing but loving, kind, giving to this person. You're very spiritual. Um, I feel like uh, when they did this, when they acted a fool, you started protecting your love here, putting love back into you. And, um, and you remained very silent. And you haven't spoken to him since. Yeah. I feel like you, you know, this is somebody who's silent and still, you know, and that's what they, they haven't heard from you. Not a peep. I'm hearing, you know, there's a cricket in my room and it's been chirping and uh, it's driving me kind of crazy. But yeah, they can hear crickets chirping. That's how quiet you are about this. So I feel like they can be, they can hope for your communication first, but you're not going to be, I feel like not in high priestess energy, you're not saying a peep. Nuh-uh. All right, so what else can you show me here? Yeah, you're moving forward, and now this person is sad. Suffering this loss, they can feel it thinking back on how they treated you. Feeling like a fool because they did whatever they wanted and they didn't think that there would have there would be a consequence, right? Yeah, I feel like somebody new is approaching you here. Yeah, it's it's the end of an old cycle. Yep, you're I feel like, yeah, somebody new is coming towards you and um, your person now has some competition in the picture. You've blocked them out. It's the end of a situation here. Look at everything just explodes for you. You've got someone else coming towards you. They could be hearing this um, now through the gossip. Now the gossip is, is starting to turn around, right? Now it's going to affect your person because they know now that you've got other suitors coming towards you. Okay? It's the, it's the beginning of a cycle for you, and you're on top of the wheel. Is a star. Star energy healed. You could be doing something in the public eye, something very spiritual. You could be another tarot card reader out here. Okay? Um, very beautiful energy, an empath, healer, spiritual teacher, something like that. Very intuitive energy. Just on a glow up, shining bright and beautiful and putting yourself out there, attracting a lot of attention, receiving messages from the divine. Okay. And I feel like you've blocked this energy out. You've made a decision. You're going to stick with the divine and you're, you're going to um, have faith that new love is coming in. And I feel like it is. It's right here. If you haven't already met this new person, you soon will. 
This is going to be someone who's going to know exactly what they want when they meet you. And they're not going to hesitate. And they're not going to put you in a situation like this. Okay? You know, where you got embarrassed and um, publicly humiliated, heartbroken, and no one... Yeah, that's not going to be this new person. This new person is going to choose you. And they're, they're going to want to have a victory. And I feel like that's coming here with the higher font out here. Yeah. This could be somebody who coming towards you who's also very spiritual, very intuitive. That would make you a, a really good couple. Something that's ordained. Okay? Someone that's, that, the, that the divine is sending to you that you deserve. I feel like that's the decision you're making here in faith. With just your intuition. You're like, I'll take what's behind door number two before it even comes in. Okay? Because you have faith the divine is sending you the right person. And you're letting this connection here end. And this, this, whoever this is has to sit here and realize that um, this is coming to an end because of how they treated you. And the fact that no one, no one even so much as asked if you were okay. That's sick. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um, but I feel like you're healed now, okay? You're the star of the show now right? All eyes on you as you have a glow up and put yourself out there and get the attention of other people. All right, what does this person want to say to the collective? I just wanted this one to be really quick. Oh, and all of these cards come spilling out. This is a really slippery deck. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. Well, that's Sounds like an emperor to me, right? Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. You were my home. Now I feel like I'm out in the cold. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. Yeah, they're watching you online. You're putting yourself out there. You're in the public eye somehow. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. Yes, they're watching you online. So um, you could have a podium out there. Um, you could be another tarot card reader, spiritualist, healer, something like that. And I feel like um, maybe that's what you do for work even is um, do something. You could be on YouTube. Yeah, it could be anywhere. Um, but this person is watching you online. A lot of online stuff going on here. Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? Yeah, this person wants another chance. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Yeah. Anyway, listen, that's how this person is feeling, what they want to say. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel. Yay. If you like this vibe and it resonates with you, join the Soul Tribe because we're, we're awesome, okay? We're awesome. And until next time, Collective, know that I love you guys. Take care of you and peace out.